to another episode of Drinking Wild Black. Today I got a review coming from Parrish Brewing Company. This is their notorious and infamous Ghost in the Machine. Now, I actually thought I had this when I went to uh, New Orleans to visit my family two years ago. For whatever reason, I thought I had tried this one. It's the OG one. I thought I had tried it. I didn't. I've seen a bunch of them around. I'm like, yeah, I had grabbed that. I had it before and I didn't. It was all over the shelves. Well, anyways, I got a hold of this and I'm going to be reviewing this one. I did send some uh, Atlas or Atticus Atlas, whatever it is, back home, which has like a butterfly on there. But um, this one I haven't had as far as the OG. I've had the double dry hopped. I've had the ones that they've done in collaborations with other, with other breweries. But um, I'm excited to try this one. So let's talk about this artwork on here. It has the, the infamous skull on the front with uh, some hops at the top and these bright, beautiful colors at the bottom. Um, and just looking beautiful as hell. And that Ghost in the Machine probably pays homage to, you know, if you know anime, you already know. So I'm going to assume it has some, some vibes of that. So let's get into this joint right here. Shout out to uh, Parrish for doing anything with these brews. Man, this joint is pouring beautifully. Yellow, extremely hazy. It's a 12 ounce bottle, it's not a 16 ounce can. It was tons of these bottles all over when I was down there in the world visiting family. It was tons of it. And I'm like, yeah, I had it, but I guess I didn't. Like I said, it is what it is. So that poor yellow, very um, golden, nice, beautiful white head on there. Y'all can see that. Beautiful, beautiful. Let me see what um, aromas I get off here on the nose. Definitely grassy. Some citrus, a little bit of mango in there, some other stuff going on too. So we're going to get into this. Cheers, y'all. I'm going to let you know what I think. So up front, dry but fruity. Um, has the citrus note in there, has a little bit of... Uh, mango some tropical characters going on let me get another sip see what i got i'm getting subtle it's just me subtle notes of stone fruit in there very subtle and just a smooth creamy nice mouthfeel nice head forgot to mention abv on this probably seven or eight percent let's see don't see it on here uh hmm not on here when i find out you already know i'm gonna put it on here but this drink's very light it's delicious it's smooth um hoppy but not like overly hoppy just perfectly balanced as far as the hop wise and i believe that's one of the reasons why people go crazy for any of their collaborations they do with breweries because they put respect on these hops they have in here Man, it got to be some citron mosaic in here. Maybe even some uh, Amarillo or some hops. I don't know. I'm talking crazy right now. Maybe I don't I don't know what I'm talking about as far as hop wise. But I do know the notes that I'm getting. Yeah, it has a nice dryness, nice bitterness as well. But it's fruity, has a tropical vibe going on has citrus, has stone fruit, has some beautiful, beautiful notes all around, and definitely grassy too. Some grassiness in there. That's just me. Somebody else might say, oh no, I don't taste it. Again, everybody's profile is different. You can have a thousand people say, oh yeah, man, this tastes like grapes. And I can say, no, it doesn't. It tastes like cotton candy to me. That's just my profile. It is what it is. Doesn't mean you're wrong. It just means that's what I taste. But um, this drink is good. I definitely thoroughly enjoy this one. Uh, I think this is something that you can enjoy any time of the year and it's so smooth and delicious and it's not it's not crispy it's just soft it's pillowy it has that nice uh, bitterness to it that nice fruity mouth and excuse me fruity taste and soft mouth it was just nice yeah I had to try that again that's definitely good. This drum right here is definitely getting thumbs up. 
love this, man. Getting some mango in here, too, if y'all don't know. Definitely getting a little bit of mango, but it's very subtle. But if you guys have not had this, I highly recommend getting your hands on it. It's one of those IPAs that is just very good all, all year round, and it has a nice, nice taste to it. And this is for these hazy boys that like to drink this sort of stuff. I can do whatever. I can drink the uh, traditional New England. I can do a West Coast. I can do whatever. But this fits my profile when I'm looking for a New England IPA. This is definitely one. But it's uh, New England done down in Louisiana. Shout out to Paris Brewing, y'all. This is a very good beer. Again, thumbs up on this one. So, delicious beer, man. Recommend this. Anytime, any day of the year. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe, show some love to your boy. Leave some feedback in the comments, as always. Um, cheers to everybody out there. Definitely drinking good beer like this. Until the next time I see y'all, stay safe, be healthy. Peace.